What's up, everybody? Welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get select. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about being a dumb private. Oof, the worst. You don't know anything about anything, and you make all kinds of dumb mistakes. So we're going to talk about those mistakes things that you need to avoid on your journey of becoming special forces. You signed an 18X contract, you're all giddy and happy, you're going to be special forces. But in order to get to that point, you need to survive being a dumbass private. Technically, as an 18X, you'll never be a private. That's kind of a crazy thing. Oh, well, maybe in like basic, but as soon as you graduate uh AI, well as soon as you graduate the Q course, you'll be a staff sergeant, which is kind of fucking wild, right? I had to work my ass off uh, to get staff sergeant. It used to be, for regular army, it's like a big deal. They call it six and six. If you get E6 in six years, uh, and you guys are getting it as soon as you graduate the Q course, which it should take you anywhere from uh, two years to two and a half years, which is nuts if you don't recycle anything. That's crazy. But you will, a lot of you are just going into the military, whether you're going Ranger, whether you're not going Special Forces. Um, being a private has a lot of pitfalls that can get you into a lot of trouble. And even if you don't plan on going Special Forces now, some of these pitfalls could prevent you from going Special Forces if you decide to later. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to not be a dumbass private. Uh, and we're going to give you the tips on what you need to avoid and what to look out for and how to be just a little bit smarter than the average private, which is not saying a whole lot for privates. I was there, I was a private, and yes, I was a dumbass. And yes, I made a lot of these mistakes. So stick around. But first, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. If you guys want to get in the best shape of your life and be able to physically pass selection the first time around, you need a good training program. Go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. I use the program myself. He's got a sweet app that you log into um, and it gives you good breakdowns. A lot of it's kettlebell stuff, which I love, uh, but he also focuses on mobility and most importantly, breathing. So go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. All right, let's do this. So let's talk about how to avoid being that dumbass private. Some of the pitfalls, I don't know what it is with you guys. Privates and fucking Ford Mustangs. Do you, you guys look at those things like they're Ferraris for the average Joe? It's like the coolest shit on the planet is to a private is a Ford fucking Mustang. And guess what? Every time your private ass sits in one of those Mustang seats, everyone is looking at you like there's another private who soon as they got a paycheck, got out of their mom's basement, went and bought themselves a damn Ford Mustang. But whether you like Ford Mustangs or not, calm down all you Mustang people. Uh, that is not really the point of why it's so bad. Despite the fact that you look like a private because you're driving a Ford Mustang around base, um, you're probably going to spend way too much money for that car. So if you guys don't know this yet, most bases are surrounded by car salesmen and car dealerships, whether used or brand new. They prey on privates. Car salesmen are the fucking worst, so you need to be careful of them. They will screw you over and get you into the worst contract ever. And then they'll try to say, oh, we work with soldiers all the time, and they'll put the flags out front, and they'll put the don't tread on me flags up, and they'll try to make you think that they're very patriotic and they're looking out for soldiers. They are not looking out for you. They are there to swindle you and to take your money because for most of you guys, and for myself included, when you join the military and you're, you're like, you're not paying rent, you're getting this paycheck, sometimes you're going to be in training for three, four months, uh, so you can't even touch your money, and then you come out and you have all of a sudden thousands and thousands of dollars sitting in a bank account, that's a big deal. And they know that, and they prey on it. So you start looking, your idea of what's cheap uh, gets skewed during that private you like private area or uh, time of your life you're really going to have kind of a misconception about money and that's really just because it's it throws you off right you have to reestablish what money means what it means to you what things you're going to need to pay for how expensive just going out with your friends is 
Um, I'm telling you, you will blow a ton of money just because you're bored and you want to go hang out with your friends and hey, drinking and kicking it with the boys costs money, uh, which will lead us to another pitfall later. But avoid the used cars, avoid the new cars, avoid the dealerships. They will screw you over. Make sure you do your research really, really well. If you need a car, talk to somebody. Don't be signing these like 20% interest loans and these nonsense new car loans. And for heaven's sake, pick something other than a damn Ford Mustang. A red fucking GT Ford Mustang screams private. I am an army private more than any vehicle I have ever seen in my entire life. Ugh. Only thing worse than that is Abel's blue fucking shimmering satin blue BMW. Power bottom actual. Love you, buddy. Those patches are coming soon, by the way. If you haven't checked out the new hats uh, on the FNG Academy, make sure you do so. We have a whole new caster tab lineup is out. Uh, the FNGacademy.com, go check it out. Soon will be power bottom actual morale patches for Abel because we love you, Abel. You're welcome. Courtesy of Andy. If you haven't seen that episode, it's pretty funny. You should check it out. The last episode of Wine and Rations. All right, second giant pitfall. And when I say giant pitfall, I mean it's a giant pitfall. And we like to call those giant pitfalls the dependipotamus. Depend, depend, dependipotamus. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Dependipotamus? I think it's the, <laughs> I think it's the dependipotamus that's super offensive but that's what they're called and it's that uh spouse whether it's a male or a female that's non-military that preys on privates why because you have health insurance now why because you have a steady paycheck now and they see you as an opportunity to take 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 and get 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 and for some reason the more they get the wider they get. I'm not sure why that correlation is. I've never had to depend upon a puss, but they, <laughs> this one's going to bite me in the ass, but you guys know what I'm saying. Careful of the dependent pot puss. They will come get you. They want your insurance. They want you to deploy. They want to take all that deployment money because they know that you make extra money while on deployments. So careful with them. Don't go marrying the first woman you see or first man you see if a civilian outside of a base you meet a civilian outside of the base of the best thing since sliced bread and all of a sudden they're pushing you to get married or you are pushing to get married because you're deploying and you think oh i gotta make stability before i leave pump the brakes uh one of the biggest issues that privates have is they go and get married uh, as soon as they show up they're like i got a paycheck i got a new mustang it's time to have a new wife that just makes logical sense so they jump out and they go find a new wife. That's a horrible idea, guys. Don't do that, all right? So just pump the brakes. I think dying? No, it's so good. So you could date. You'll be fine. You can go on deployment. If she's still there and faithful, then all good. You don't need to jump into getting married, all right? So just hold off on the dependent potapus because they will suck you dry. And I'm telling you, it's a huge problem. It's way harder to get out of that a contract than it is to get in i promise you that being said strippers guys seriously that's all i'm gonna say on that one we're gonna let that one go okay listen i'm not even gonna say the songs that come to mind the rap song verses that you can't you know you know what not even going there we said it you guys get it moving on all right guys so lastly and my last tip for all you privates out there that are about to embark on your new journey is alcohol related issues. Whether you're going SF or you want to be SF later, whether that's Ranger, Special Forces, Navy SEAL, one of the biggest hindrances to people and going the career that they want to go in the military is, you guessed it, alcohol related issues. You go out to the bar, you get in a fight, uh, you get in a fight with your spouse, whatever it is, you crash your car, you get a DUI. Alcohol related issues are no joke when it comes to the military. The stuff that you used to be able to get away with before my time, that shit is out the window. Anything related to alcohol and they lose their minds. So if you want to cut off your ability to go special forces immediately, get an alcohol related incident. And guess what? 
for all you people that think, oh, they'll just kick me out of the military and then I'll go home and go do what I want to do. No, they won't. Your ass is staying in the military, but they're going to take away all your rank. And then you're, so you're going to make less money and then they're going to put you on extra duty, uh, which means you're going to be working weekends. You're going to be working nights, scrubbing floors. Uh, it's the military, man. They got this shit figured out. They know how to make you pay and they're still going to get what they want out of you. So avoid alcohol related incidents. Always have a driver. Always call a cab. Always use an Uber. Um, don't fight with your friends. Don't fight with your spouse. Alcohol related issues will end your career faster than you could even start it. So and that is a big thing with privates is they want to go out and drink and have fun. And rightfully so, you should enjoy, um, you know, your newfound freedom. Uh, you're going to get amazing new experiences in the military. But I'm telling you, alcohol related incidents will screw you over. So just to recap, guys, don't buy a fucking Mustang. They're stupid. Uh, avoid alcohol related incidences and avoid the dependent potipus because she's coming for you or he is coming for you. And they're going to take your money and they're going to get you locked up so they can have health insurance um, for the multiple kids that they have with multiple other different spouses and all that nonsense. So watch your alcohol, drive a normal car that doesn't make you look like a douche and avoid partners that don't have your best interests at heart. All right, guys, you do those things. You'll be a great private. You'll get through that private time, get some NCO stripes and, uh, you know, make a great career for yourselves. And that way, if you want to go special forces, the road will be ready for you to go that direction. All right. Hope that helps. And we'll talk to you guys next time. What's up, guys? Buck here, co-host of the FNG podcast and author of Rise Above, uh, former Green Beret, former law enforcement, here to talk to you about five tips. Nothing has helped me more in my process of healing than helping other people. Doing the YouTube channel, figuring out ways to help people in the best and biggest way I can. What's up, guys? Back. Back. Buck back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to FNG Academy. So welcome back to FNG Academy. The FNG Academy. Welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Bray. Could help you guys get selected. There's a lot of stress that comes with trying to go this route. You know, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. So now that, how can we use content to, to let them, let them laugh, let them see that we're normal ass people. If we can do it, they can do it. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this painting with Buck Ross. Right, here to help you guys? No, not today. Gear review. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait till you read the book. The book goes into things that were really difficult to talk about. It goes into my failures. It goes into my failures as a Green Beret. It goes into my failures as a man, as a husband. The things that we went through growing up, getting shot at as a kid, things like that. Like, it's deep. If you guys have wondered how I've managed to get from basically, you know, a police officer, no one knows who I am, to where I'm at now, um, Obviously a huge part of that is I put together an amazing team. Two Green Berets and an amazing videographer, all of whom I've known for years. They're, some, they're my best friends. I've worked my ass off. I've spent probably about $5,000 in plane tickets uh, over the last year. Um, we started Wine and Rations with Andy Stump. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Recently, I was reached out to by a dude named Bedros Kulian. I reached out to this guy and I was like, hey man, could you be like a surrogate dad, older brother uh, figure for this guy? And he said, yes. you guys step off to go to basic to go to selection to start your journey I highly encourage you to do this one thing and this is my last bit of advice to you before you guys leave and you can't watch the FNG Academy for a while and you have to keep you know my voice ringing in your head help other people 